It's estimated that over 6 million people play online and only 10% of those are considered pros. To make a living out of this game, you have to win two salaries, one for pay and one for play. It requires passion, dedication, and a large bankroll. You have to learn to trust your instincts and balance that with a genius level understanding of the odds. But most importantly, you need to remain focused on the end game. Getting caught up on the outcome of a single hand or even a series of hands can drive some people crazy. It ruins their focus, forces bad decisions, and before you know it, that large bankroll I mentioned is all gone. When a player gets like this, it's often called going on tilt. An on tilt player can slip into a sort of depression and end up basically giving their money away. And the key to avoid going on tilt is to follow one simple rule. Don't get emotional. I swear to God, Tim, I will stab you in the throat with a pen. Come on, cheer up. It's a beautiful day. Yay. So, so what? Picked it up this morning. You have it here. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe this is yours now. Yeah, felt like the paperwork was never gonna end. Are you sure you should be driving this thing around? It's in the will. Do you think he wants me to leave it under a tarp locked in the garage? Anyway, what about you? That bad, huh? <clears throat> Not a team player. Needs to work on his communication. Is often late to work. And my favourite... Lacks the required attention to detail needed for the role he is currently performing. Ooh. <laughs> So I think we can all agree the sales guys always give 110% and thank you very much for your efforts. It's like you want to get by. It's not that, I'm just bored. At least being unemployed and homeless would be exciting. Is there something you'd like to add, Mr Drake? No. Because Josh, this project is really important for the company, therefore it should be important yeah, to you. Yeah, absolutely. See, you're all part of my flight crew. 
And I need my crew to do their pre-flight checks. We're taxing down the runway. We need to make sure the window shade is open, the trotto was up as we get ready to take off. What do you say, Josh? Are you with me? Yeah. Because when this project is on the glide path, we're making our final approach. I need all my co-pilots to have their hands on my flight stick. What do you say, Josh? Can you handle the flight stick? Yes, Larry, I can handle your flight stick. Because the key to integration is everybody rowing in the same direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you are so bored here, why are you waiting to get fired? You've been playing online for ages, just quit. Or are you still not good enough? It's not skill I lack. What I'm lacking in is a huge pile of cash and emotional maturity. <laughs> okay. Bankroll I get, you do not want to go in underfunded. Fair enough. But emotional maturity, Jesus. Sounds like Kate talk. Tim, don't start. Anyway, she's right. I did it again last night. Again? How much you lose this time? About 500 bucks. Jesus. Let me guess. Uh, you had cowboys in early position, and then the guy who raised you made his straight on the river. Close. I had aces, and then he made a flush on the river. Anyway, 20 minutes later, I'm 500 bucks down and just screaming at the screen like a <laughs> madman. Probably a good thing Kate wasn't home then. To be honest, I think she stopped caring a long time ago. When did you say she gets back? Tonight. I'm supposed to pick her up at the airport so we can talk. <laughs> I don't want to sound insensitive, but it would be pretty funny if you got fired the same week you broke up with Kate. <sighs> Classic Josh. Power relationships aside, if you do get fired, you're going to need a huge chunk of cash if you're going to play full time. What's your grand plan for getting that kind of money? They only invite the top 100 online players, and if any of them turn down the offer, they choose wildcard entries to replace them. Dear Mr. Joshua Drake, congratulations. Based on your recent win percentage and the amount of online play you have participated in, you have been invited to play in an annual Mega Millions Invitational as an official wildcard entry. <laughs> if you wish to accept this opportunity for online poker glory, please log into our website and pay the required entry fee no later than blah 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 blah. Your sincerely, some idiot. Holy shit, man! What a shame. A shame. Yeah. I mean, congratulations and everything, dude. You deserve it. But it says right there. Buying is 10 grand. You've never had that kind of stake before. What's your poker account setting at? After last night, about one and a half. When's the 20? Two weeks. Hmm. You better get to work then. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. Oh, 
by the dollar, grab by the collar, taken to the casino. Got a bag full of dreams yes. that a man don't need, burning chips while your car gets Jesus, sold. Marion, Joseph! Riding government meals while sniffing crush meals, your dream becomes the plan. Play your cards right and you'll have a good night, all the glamorous yes. and all that you have. You're trying to steal. Boom! <laughs> Called it, douchebag. Hello? Hey, sir. Yeah, come on. Hey, poker guy. You're in a good mood. Uh, I'm training for a big tournament and things are going very well. I am playing like a pro tonight. Yeah, alright. So what, if you were um, playing like shit, you'd be in a bad mood? I would be absolutely miserable. Hmm. Hmm. What does hmm mean? No, I just think it's odd that you'd spend so much time playing a game that makes you miserable. Keep it. You gave me a 50. Exactly. A miserable poker player couldn't afford to tip you that well. Whatever, poker boy. I'm not the one ordering pizza alone at 10.30 on a Friday night. Oh, how much pizza, girl? That... Wait, 10.30? Yeah. Oh, shit. Don't you think you're overreacting just a little? My phone was on silent. Two hours. I waited at the airport for two hours. I called you like a hundred times. I left you a thousand messages. Well, technically that's impossible. Oh, don't touch me. Look, I'm sorry. I lost track of time. It could have happened to anybody. Yeah, and then I see you talking to that girl. What? She's just a pizza delivery girl. I don't even know her name. Well, it explains why you eat so much pizza. You know what, Josh? It's not about the airport or the pizza girl. Between your poker and my work, your mood swings are just too much. It's the exact reason why I decided we should take a break in the first place. I said I was sorry. Don't be. I'm sorry. I hadn't made up my mind. But I think this makes it really clear. I, um, I think we should just make this break permanent. Fuck 
Fuck! How much you lose? A lot. Doesn't matter. I would have never won that tournament anyway. Fair enough. Oh. Thank you. You know, I saw this doco the other day. About a young ballet dancer. Hot. So she's like a prodigy or something. You know, like Lance Armstrong, but without, you know, the drugs and the cheating and all that stuff. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Anyway, so one day she finds a strange lump on her leg. Boom, some weird cancery growth thing. And the doctors say that they didn't catch it in time. And they pretty much have to cut out half her calf muscle. And she'll never dance again. She's like, well, that sucks. But uh, I'm going to die, so bang, out it comes. And she's fine, but sure as shit, she can barely dance. She can barely walk. But just over a year later, do you know what she did? Oh, let me guess. 
She made a full recovery, worked really hard, and was an even better dancer than before. She doesn't have a calf muscle. She walks with a cane now. No, she made an app. And made like 30 million dollars. Is there a point to that ridiculous story? My point, you miserable asshole, is that there are plenty of people out there that have it worse than you. And they seem to do just fine. Whatever, man. Oh, so occasionally you cop a bad beat. Oh, poor idiots. You, your girlfriend breaks up with you. Oh, boo hoo. Come on, Tim. It's not that simple and you know it. Do I, Josh? Because it seems pretty bloody simple to me. You're basically good world hunting when it comes to reading betting patterns and odds. Oh, but God forbid someone cracks your aces. Oh, cry me a river, mate. Fuck you. You say you need a big bankroll to go pro, but the truth is a million dollars would not last a day longer than a hundred because as good as you are at controlling a game, you can't control your head. Why do you let it get to you? Shit happens. What about Kate? Please. That has been over for ages. She just hadn't moved out yet. So what? You, you think I should just go and invent some app? No, you Rain Man Muppet. Just listen, okay? We need to get you back on the horse. And then we need to figure out how to keep you on it. But in the meantime, we need to cheer you up. Jungle fever or yeah, yellow yeah, peril yeah, yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking some dengue cocktails or something. Late, like I'm tired, I just want to go home. But I'm too tipsy to drive, and of course I can't afford a cab. So I figure Evan can drive me. Tipsy? He can barely even walk. Anyway, <laughs> so I look over and I see him talking to this beautiful woman, absolutely stunning, way out of his league. Hey! And I don't want to stand around all night watching him fight a losing battle. So I figure I'll go over there and embarrass him myself. Speed things up a bit. <laughs> Plus, she looks really familiar. So this gives me this genius idea. So I walk up to her and I say, you're wasting your time, sweetheart. He's only talking to you because you sort of look like this famous poker player from the UK that he's got a weird crush on. <laughs> and Evan <laughs> turns to me, polite as you like, and he says, Al, I'd like you to meet Liv Bury, the famous poker player from the oh! UK. <laughs> Cock-blocking like that. <laughs> uh, Cock-blocking implies that you actually had a shot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you get that? Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> hey, uh, now that you're single, Joshi, that is the kind of girl you should go for. What? This woman is a model, a famous poker player, and an astrophysicist. None of you would stand a chance in hell. Still, nice thought though. To the Iron Maiden. The Iron Maiden. Deal me in. Please, please, please be a stripper. Seven ten fifty. Come on. That was at least a little bit funny. And there was meant as a compliment. Look man, it's late. This is my last delivery and I really just want to go home. Are you going to pay for this or not? You see, I've never had to, um, pay for it. Oh, still a virgin then. Mm. <laughs> I, I, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm paying for it. I mean, uh, uh, I'm not paying for it. Like, I, I would never pay you for that. No, no, no. no? I, I mean... You wouldn't? You're just... nailing Sorry. this. This is going so well. Sorry about him. Um, well, he's retired. <laughs> yeah, I got that. So, uh, what's with the new look? Oh, um, it's been a rough couple of days. Did it have something to do with that chick in her luggage? Your, um, your girlfriend, right? Oh, 
uh, well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter because, because she's not my girlfriend anymore, so... So? So, is there anything else you want to give me, or...? No, just the large pizza. Okay, then. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey, I would have given you my number two if you had have shaved. Show me. I'm, I'm really terrible with directions. I'll, Sorry, mate. I've got to go. Seriously, it'll just, just take a sec. Corner. Would you mind? Uh. Hey, I did shave. Okay. Give me your hand, Dom. See ya. <laughs> hey, Nicole. Josh. Good luck in your tournament, Josh. Enjoy the pizza, boys. Like seriously, bad <laughs> job. Well, that I understand with you. <laughs> okay, guys. Is I don't understand. War Council. Our boy Josh here needs to play this tournament. With a big enough win, he can go pro. Now we all know he's probably good enough to make it to the money. Hell, he could probably even win it. Yeah, as long as he doesn't lose his shit. <laughs> he's right, darling. You do have a tendency to get a tad emotional. But all the math in the world can't save you. Yes, it's true. He does get a little bit 
involved and we're working on that. We. But right now the problem is twofold. One, he doesn't have the money for the buy-in. And two, he doesn't have a lot of time to get it. Now, we are his friends and we are not leaving this table until we come up with a way to get him the 10 grand. Suggestions. Go. So you have no banker whatsoever? Could you ask your boss for an advance? <laughs> not likely. Well, then you'll simply have to sell your body on the street. Hey, yeah. You could give him some money and be his first customer. You've been wanting to get into his pants since high school. Oh, please. I'm the one who should be charging for it. <laughs> what about you, Tim? Put your dirty little fingers in all sorts of pies. Any bright ideas? That's it. That's it! I'm pretty sure they were joking. What? Just shut up for a sec, all right? Hey. Oh. Uh -huh. I was up 30 bucks. Just watch. Okay, so we got about 250 here. Al, how much can you spare? Oh, a couple of hundred in a pinch. Why? Evan? Oh, come off it, Tim. You think if any of us had 10 grand lying around, we might have mentioned it before? Come on, Ev, don't be a tight ass. How much? I don't get paid till next month. Evan! Ah, uh, fine. I suppose I could match Al if I had to. boy. Right, so with that, what we've got here, and what I can scrape together, we're looking at about a grand. Look, guys, uh, I appreciate the gesture, but really, save your money. We are a long way off ten. Ah, uh, but Joshy boy, I'm not talking about us paying for your whole buy-in. I'm just saying we stake you. You play your usual game and win the buy-in. Come on, man. <laughs> With a bankroll of $1,000, that'd take me at least a month to grow that to 10. What about your car, Tim? If we sold that, he'd have the buy-in three times over. Go fuck yourself. Hey, you look like a douchebag when you drive that thing anyway. Yeah, well, what about you with that stupid fucking hat? Ah, all right, all right, everyone just chill, okay? Hey, Ow. just come on. Evan, not cool, man. You know his dad left in that car. And Tim, Evan doesn't have a say in what his mum buys him. You know she gets his clothes and she never lets him choose. As I was saying, we stake you. You play like your life depends on it and you win the buy-in. Hell, if you do win it, we're going to get a pretty good return on investment anyway. <sighs> I'd have to play really aggressively. You can handle it. Really? You know what I get like after a few hours in front of the computer. I agree. I, I think this is a terrible plan. Yeah, it's a pity you're banned from the casino. Then you could put it all on red. Even worse. <laughs> Roulette would take our money in seconds. But a live game? That might actually work. I mean, he never stuffs up playing against us. What about, what, what about your cousin? Hey, do he doesn't need a live game. He just needs someone to keep him steady. Focused. Are you gonna sit with me while I play? Every waking minute. <laughs> Sorry, man. This is so fucking boring. You really want to do this for a living? Hey, this was your idea. I was happy to quit and be miserable. Uh, what do we had anyway? Uh, with the pot I just won, about 1500. <clears throat> Fuck, you are killing me. <laughs> I told you, with a bankroll this size, I have to be careful and pick my moves. Maybe Ev was right. Maybe we do need a live game. A live game would be more exciting. Yeah, well, I can't exactly imagine the casino's gonna let me back in anytime soon. So, unless you wanna keep watching me here, you're more than welcome to find another way. Well, now that you mention it, I do know a game. 
High stakes, easy pickings for you. And why didn't you mention this before? Well, I don't think we need it. And it's a bunch of lawyer types and whatnot. All right, so they get together once a month for a sit and go. Mm, it's a small group, but depending on numbers, the winner walks away with about 10, 12 grand. A private game of lawyers and whatnots. How am I supposed to get in on that? I can get us in. Huh? Huh? Hey, you Tom? Tim. Theo's cousin? Why, yeah. Dude, are you kidding me? This is where the game is? We're gonna get stabbed in there. Nah, it's all good. Heard about this game from my cousin. He used to play with these guys. Or you went to prison. Great. Look, you need 10 grand in five days. We can have that tonight. Worst case scenario, you come second and you get your money back. No, Tim. Worst case scenario is, I lose. That's why it's called worst case. Nah. It'll be a cakewalk. This is just fun to them. You will clean up in there. Hmm? Tim, I'm glad you called. How's your cousin? Good. Went to see him last week. He says hi. I'm sorry that he's in there, but there's only so many houses you can rob before even I couldn't keep him out of prison. To be honest, I think he's happy you're in there. And who do we have here? Mr. Wilkes. This is my good friend, Joshua Drake. Hey. Best online poker player in the country. Oh, online, eh? Well, our little monthly game is relatively small stakes, but it's all very different when it's up close and personal. They're all the same cards to me. Ha! Well, so long as you can pay, you can play. Oh. Well, let's get this game going.
I check. Check. I check. Bet. 5,000. Raise. I'm all in. Well, to be honest, kid, I know you've hardly bluffed all night. It's getting late and I'm feeling tired. I'm here to gamble. I'm all in. I got the ace. What do you got? Two pair. Trey Deuce. Yes! 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 Well yes. done, kid. Very impressive. <laughs> Joshy! So, um, who do we see about our money? Anton. Pay the man. How could you have possibly known your two pair was enough to win? Yeah, well, I mean, you you bet pre-flop, right? So there's a bit of money on the table. Then you checked after the flop, so I knew you were chasing something. Oh, and then when you checked on the turn, man, that just made it so obvious. But I could have been <laughs> buying the truck. I was watching you all night. You're not that kind of player. Okay, buddy, time to go. What's the rush? Why don't we stay, have a drink, and celebrate? Uh, we've got work in the morning, so... Uh, yeah, just, look, he's just right. leave. Work is important. And it's not like tonight's winnings are enough to retire on, eh? <laughs> really? <laughs> Some new faces at the firm, I see. Yes, Nick, these are my two new friends. This is Josh Drake and Tim Gordon. Boys, this is Nick Marcello. A good friend and an even better client. Josh. Mr. Marcello, it's a pleasure. Tim, yep. nice to meet you, sir. Uh, time to go, mate. Time to go. Yeah. Uh, Holy shit! Do you know who that was? If that's the same Nick Marcello that's on the news, that, then we just met the head of the mob. I know. Let's go. So, who are those guys? Uh, just a couple of young kids looking for a bit of excitement. That Josh kid is really good. That guy won the 10 grand? Yeah. Who's the other guy? Um, Tim? Well, do you remember that guy I defended about a year ago? Uh, Theo. He's one of your old guys, I think. Yeah, well, that's his cousin. That's Theo's cousin? Interesting. Wait a sec. You said they were lawyers. You never said they were lawyers for the freaking mafia. I mean, you do realize I basically just won 10 grand from the Godfather. Is that why you wanted to get out of there so fast? Dude, is there something you're not telling me? Okay, so you know how my cousin was in a bit of trouble before he went away? Uh, well, he owed some money to someone, and that someone is. Waiting for him to get out to collect. What has that got to do with you? Well, let's just say that someone is the kind of someone who thinks a relative is pretty much the same thing when it comes to getting their money back. So, your cousin owes money to the mob, and you get us into a poker game full of mob lawyers so we can take even more money from them. No, worked out, didn't it? <laughs> you are such an idiot! I know. <laughs> <laughs>
a thing. How'd you get into that? Well, it's my uncle's store. He raised me, so basically I grew up there and he gave me a job when I was in high school. I mean, obviously I don't want to be delivering pizza forever, but my uncle, he's such a sweetheart. He just, he pays me too well to justify leaving. I'm a writer, actually. <laughs> oh. Mm. I cook. Are you published? Meh, you know, just a few short stories, but there's this school in London that I'd love to go to. Do I, um, do I burn one first? Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So London, why are you here then? Well, I don't have the money to go, you know, my uncle wants to help, but the store's not what it used to be, and he has some debts to pay off. So, here I stay. Yeah, I know the feeling. I fold. <clears throat> So what about you? Is this uh, poker dream of yours a real thing? Uh, well, believe it or not, I have the same problem as you, money. But I'm working on that. I raise. Oh, that's right. The big, uh, the big tournament you're training for. I uh, cool. What would you do if I bet everything? Um, <laughs> the way you play, I'd probably call. If, if the payoff is bigger than the odds of my hand losing, then it's a no brain. Fine, then I go all in. Are you sure? Because if we weren't just playing with imaginary money, you might be sorely disappointed. Well, maybe I'm bluffing, maybe I'm not. You'll just have to see. All right, I call. What have you got? Ta-da! <laughs> what are you smiling at? That is like the worst possible hand you can get. Oh no, I failed. I am the worst poker teacher. Hey, what about the other two cards? I could still win, right? Um, yeah, but it's not looking likely. Okay. Burn one. And turn one. Yes! <laughs> okay, alright. Don't get too excited. You, you've basically just gone from nothing to the lowest pair in the deck. Okay, the only thing that can save you now is another two. Yeah. Come on, another oh, two. Dramatic. Oh, ah. come on! <laughs> okay, just for the record, mathematically speaking, you should have folded after I raised. That was pure dumb luck. Oh, well, maths has never been my strong suit, but winning always has been. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wait. Didn't you break up with your girlfriend, like, a week ago? Exactly, we broke up. No, oh, Josh. Like, you guys were together for a long time. I don't want to be some rebound. Look, she may have only just moved out, but we had both checked out a long time before. What happened? I... I... I don't really know. It was almost like we just slowly fell out of love and neither of us realised until it was too late. Sorry, I guess. Like I said, I think we've both checked out a long time before. So you have absolutely no intention of getting back with her? My hand to the poker gods. We are... To the poker gods? <laughs> <laughs> no. To the poker gods. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's just a stupid Shut superstition. Up. Some. for breakfast. I want to get some writing done before work tonight and I'm not going to get any done here. Oh, what if I promise to keep my hands to myself? <laughs> hands aren't the problem, I just, I need to be in my own space to concentrate. 
And besides, you need to rest. Don't you have a big tournament tonight? Fine. Well, thanks for the guy. I had a great night. It feels weird, though, you leaving here without me paying you. No, no, because if the, you do pizza, it's, uh, you're not a... Um, you don't ruin a lovely night by speaking. Call me if you dare. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, Josh, let's go inside and talk. This is the soundtrack of the sound there. Yeah. Oh, let's get in. Hey, Josh, what are you doing? Hey, Josh, what are you doing? Hey, So, you gonna offer me a drink or something? Look, man, I, I, I don't know what you think happened, but, but I'm not a shark or anything like that. I, I won that money fair and square. Josh, to relax. I'm not a thug. I know. You didn't cheat. In fact, Mr. Wilkes assures me you're a stand-up guy. But you've stumbled into a sticky situation here. The truth is, things aren't quite as good as they used to be. People like uh, Wilkes and, and Frankie, eh? they, they don't come cheap. I need to increase cash flow. And it seems to me your friend Tim, he got you into that game. So you and him won the money together. And since that lying shit of a cousin Theo is in prison, he can't pay me. But you too. You just happen to be in possession of about 10 grand cash. So you can make my little problem go away. I don't have the money. Frank. No, wait, 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 wait. I, I'm serious. I, I already put it into the bank. The bank? Easy. So you can go down and make a withdrawal. No, I can't withdraw it. Frank. No, wait, wait. Because I already put it into my poker account. Poker account? What are you talking about? Can I show you? Jesus, kid. You win 10 grand playing poker and you want to spend it on more poker? Didn't your parents ever teach you how to save? It's for a tournament. That's why I was playing at Mr. Wilkes's bar. I needed the buy-in. Yeah, yeah. Wilkes said you were pretty good. Some kind of big online hot shot. So, uh, what do you get if you win the tournament? Win? The whole thing? Um, about $300,000? You really think you can win? Okay. Here are your options. You give me my 10 grand now and we can call it even. Or maybe I'll let you play your little tournament. But since it's my money you'll be playing with, I would expect a, a modest return. What do you think, Frank? Shall we call it 150,000? Sounds like the right amount. <laughs> 150 grand? If I don't make the final table, I'm not going to get anywhere near that. Are you, are you kidding? Then it seems your decision is an easy one. Don't play and give him my 10 grand now. Or you can risk my money and pay me 150,000 after the tournament. 
with all due respect to Mr. Marcello, poker is a skill game, but it's one based on making good decisions after considering all the options. So I'm going to take option one. I just need a couple of days for it to clear my account, then I can get you your money. Okay, kid. Fine. You transfer your money to your account, and when it clears, make a withdrawal and come see me. Yes, thank you so much, I understand. Uh, there's just uh, one more thing. No, no, you know I'm good for it, no! That's so you understand the severity of the situation. You have that money for me in the next 48 hours and we're good. You don't, then I'm gonna assume you changed your mind and decided to play the tournament and gamble with my money. In which case I'll be expecting my 150,000. Oh, and feel free to pass it on to Tim. After all, it was his cousin's debt that got you into this. Okay, you give me a call, and uh, let's keep the police out of it, shall we? After all, but a few of them work for me. Hey, how was the day? Yeah, it was good. Oh, by the way, a letter from that school arrived? I tried to call you, but your phone rang out. Really? I didn't hear it. Hey, can you try calling it again? I must still left it at Josh's house. I'll have to go back and get it. Jesus, what the hell happened to you? <sighs> Great. <sighs> I don't want to know what happened here. Probably not. What the hell are you doing here anyway? <laughs> it's nice to see you too, lover. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that you haven't called once since you left and now you just waltz on in. Yeah, well, I came to get some stuff. Oh, can you make sure you leave your key when you go? What are you afraid I'm going to walk in on you with some girl? Oh my god. Are you seeing someone already? No. It's that pizza girl, isn't it? I knew it! Did you settle down? I mean, we had... we had one date. Besides, you and I have been over for a long time. You just haven't moved out yet. Oh, that is so something Tim would say. I'm not mad. It's okay. You are right. I just didn't see that coming. I guess... Whatever you want to do with your life, it's your choice. You gonna walk me out? I guess this is it. I hope you get whatever that is sorted out. Yeah, well, I need to have a pretty serious chat with Tim. Come here. Nicole, wait. Nicole, Nicole, wait. 
It's not what it looks yeah, like. It never is, Josh. Shit. What happened to your face? Actually, no. You know what? I don't care. You lied to me. You told me it was over. You looked me in the eyes and you lied. She just came to get some stuff. Save it. Thanks for the poker lesson. I fold. You need to call me back right now, okay? Now, you know what? Just get your ass over here, okay? We need to talk. That chick at 107 spotted me to that dude. I reckon she's definitely a dancer. <laughs> what did you do? Okay. We can fix this. We can fix this. Ah, we just... We just have to think. Uh... Wilkes! We can talk to Wilkes. I mean, uh, he's a, he's a lawyer. He can help us, right? He's a lawyer for a crime boss. I don't think he cares if Marcello beats the shit out of us. Well, let's just go to the police. I told you, he says he's got him on the books. Well, we have to do something. Well, maybe he'll let us pay it off. I mean, he's been waiting for your cousin to get out anyway, so why should he care if he waits a little longer? He might beat the shit out of us, but hey, what else can we do? I don't know, Josh! Something! Forget it, Tim. It's over. We may as well just accept the beating that's coming to us. Thanks very much, by the way. What the hell does that mean? If you hadn't have gotten us into that game, we wouldn't be here right now. I did that for you, you ungrateful jerk. And I wasn't the one who screwed up our only chance of getting out of this by pissing ten grand down the drain because of some stupid fucking pizza delivery girl. <laughs> you stupid, spoiled, selfish prick! You think you are so hard done by? You are smarter than anybody I know! But somehow you're too stupid to see what you do have. I'm done. Go to the cops, go tell Marcello what you did. I don't care. You shouldn't have to deal with this. I'm not the one who lost the fucking money.
Ehi, prendi la macchina. Dobbiamo incontrare il ragazzo. Nick, here, I've got some paperwork for you to sign. I don't think so, Billy. Excuse me? You said if I came good with this month's payment, I'd be okay. Well, I've got it. I'm sorry, Nick. Another month's payment isn't going to stop this. Unless you can pay off the entire debt in full, I will take the restaurant. Billy, I'm about to get my hands on another ten grand. That's got to be worth something. Nick, you're over a hundred grand in the hole. This isn't the 80s anymore. You're not some tough mobster that can just throw threats around and get out of this. Look, I can make one phone call and have you arrested. Tax evasion, fraud, extortion, you name it. Now, don't get me wrong. You've had it good for a long time. Those days are over and your little empire has collapsed. Paying off police and politicians is expensive and unfortunately legal help isn't free either. I've kept you out of prison for a long time. Now it's time for me to collect. Zia Nick, are you here? Hey, Uncle Nick. Billy. Bella, I'm about to go out for a bit. Uh, can you open this door? Sure thing, Uncle Nick. And when I come back, I want to hear everything about your date with that nice boy you met, huh? You give me another latte, thanks, sweetie. So? Look, I just want to be up front. I don't have your money. What do you mean you don't have it? I lost it. All of it. Hey! No, look, look, I'm, okay, I'm sorry, okay? I, I thought I could play a high stakes game and win enough to pay you and still have enough for the tournament. You and your friend trying to play me? You think maybe you can play the tournament with my money? I still not pay me my share. Is that no, it? No, no, no. Look, this is just what I do. Okay, I, 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 um, I messed up is all. Okay, see, I, this is how I play. I'm a self-sabotaging screw up, and I can't. I, I, it's not. Hey, like... hey, hey. Shh, 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 shh. It'll be okay. Please sit down. My father, he was a very honest man. Hard worker, worked in kitchens his whole life, saving every penny, but all the time dreaming and planning to open his own restaurant one day. But he never had enough money. The bank's always wanting more. So he decided to go into business with another man, another chef. But when that man took my father's money to the bank, he told my father he'd been robbed. And my father, he always believed if you think you're being played, you probably are. Mr. Marcello, I promise. Don't interrupt me. So, he went round to this man's house to find out what really happened. The man simply said he lost it. So my father started to hit him in the face again and again, all the while asking about the money. But all the man would say is, he lost it. My father, he still did not believe him. So he turned his attention to the man's wife. He had to break three of her fingers before the man finally told him the money was under the sink. Mr. Marcello, I swear. You have a girlfriend, Josh? Someone you love? <laughs> Good luck in the tournament, Josh. Don't waste my time again. I don't want to hear from you till you have my 150,000.
I'll be in touch. Josh, you got it, got it, man. Amy, have you seen Tim? Yeah, I was here earlier, I think he left. Check to see if his car's still here. How'd it go? He's not happy. Figured as much. Dude, I'm so sorry I fucked up. Dude, where? I mean, I probably could have got more money for it, but I think they knew I was desperate. You shouldn't have done this. Your dad it's left the car. Besides, I can't lose it if I'm dead. You know this won't be enough. He's not going to accept anything less than the full amount now. You'll just have to win then. You don't think this is just history repeating? I mean, what if I catch a bad beat and, and get worked up again? And I've actually had an idea about that. Coconut milk macchiato. Make it quick, I'm busy. What sort of trouble? Hey buddy, what's up? Yeah, okay. I'm in. Nothing better to do anyway. Okay guys, here's the plan. Evan, you'll be Josh's proxy. You'll watch the game on the computer and relay every bit of action back to us here at the table. You'll also make each move. You will listen to exactly what Josh tells you. Got it. Al, you will be on card duty. I need you to lay these out, find each card as it's called out, and get it down. You need to make sure it's the right number and the right suit, and get it down as quickly as possible. I'll be on chip duty. I'll hear the bets that Evan calls out, and play for each play at the table. And me? You, my friend. Just play. Okay, uh, just before we start, Tim, can I just say on behalf of everyone how proud we are that you managed to colour within the circle? Uh, just, okay, alright. Just focus. Okay, okay. Focus. So, you basically just turned this whole tournament into a live poker game. But, I don't get it. I mean, I appreciate that you guys are here to help, but why don't I just sit at the computer and play It's What I'm Good At? <laughs> no, Josh. You're not. When you play online, you overthink every call that every other player makes. You get inside your head. But I watched you at that live poker game. There was so much going on. That woman on the phone, the bartender with those girls, the dude coughing constantly across from you. It took everything you had to stay in the game, to watch each bet, 
and to watch how each player played each hand. And so here we are. Our very own live action online poker game. But I hardly think you three are going to be enough to make this place as lively as that bar was. <laughs> Perfect timing. Josh! This is your neighbour from down in 107. And these are our friends from dance class. I invited them over for a little party. Well, the tournament's already started, so I suppose it's worth a try. You're playing three left of the dealer. First hand, queen of spades, queen of hearts, nice. I call, he's calling, he's folding, and a call. Raise, 100. He's folding, another fold, another fold, and a call. Okay, here comes the flop. King of spades, seven of diamonds, three of hearts. He's thinking, he's thinking, check, he's checked. Bet, 200. He folded. Well, let's play some fucking cards, boys. So what's all this about anyway? Ah, so my boy Josh here has to win this tournament so that we don't get murdered by the leader of an organised crime team. Merry Man 78 just went all in 2000. Everyone else is folding. Flush draw, didn't raise pre flop, can't have pocket kings. It's got to be a bluff. Almost out of time. Um, he's bluffing, call it. Are you sure? That's more than half your stack. He's got nothing. I put him on a draw. Best case, he has bottom pair. Do it. Six three of diamonds, you've got it! Yes! Nice call. Okay, here comes the turn. Six of hearts. It's okay, we're okay. Okay, here comes the river. What just happened? What does that mean? That guy just got the only card in the deck that could have beaten us. What that means is we are now short stacked and up shit creek. Hey! This is a party. Let's get some shots going. Bad beat. It happens. Damn it. It's not over yet.
Yeah, well, it may as well be. Barely got ten big blinds left. So, you gonna quit again? Because our tune's getting a little old. You and I both know you probably could have gone to the cops and sorted this whole thing out. But you wanted to play this tournament. For some reason, you just... You're ready to just give up as soon as the first guy gets lucky. <laughs> lucky, huh? You wanna know why I get so frustrated and angry when I get beaten by someone getting lucky? It's because I don't believe in luck. I only play when the odds are in my favour, which means I never put myself in a position where I'm dependent on luck. And yet time and time again, I'm facing off against some short stacked player who has almost no chance of winning. And when they do, start to wonder whether maybe there is some kind of higher power at work. The only problem is that higher power is against me. It's not even about the money. It just feels like no matter what I do, it always goes wrong. It starts to get you down after a while, you know what I mean? Well, you know what I think? I think people make their own luck. And I think you've been doing that this whole time. I mean, think about it. You're sitting there remembering all the times you've lost, but you are not thinking about all the times that you've put it all on the line and actually won. Yeah, but that's different. I only do that when I'm a high chance of winning. Statistically speaking, I'll win those hands more times than losing. So, I think there's some magical kind of keeping score. I'm not talking about the long game, Josh. I'm talking about that one hand, when you know you should win, there's that slight chance that you won't. That is luck, my friend. And by making sure the odds are in your favour, you are by definition making your own luck. So what, you're suggesting I just go all in on the next hand hoping to get lucky? No. I'm saying do what you always do. And make sure you have the right hand. Make sure the odds are in your favour. Another choice to be had. If you two have finished jerking each other off, we still have a tournament to win. Oh, and uh, Evan sent me to tell you, if you can win from here, the girl from 107 said she'd make out with one of her dancer friends. Hmm? Hmm? Okay, fill me in. He's folding. There's another player folding. Another player folding. Corp. One, one guy's corp. Another, another guy's corp. And, and another. Okay, cards are being shown. Queen of hearts, four of clubs. Jack of hearts, ten of hearts, and pocket kings. Okay, here comes the flop. Jack of diamonds. Nine of clubs, oh, king of diamonds. One time. One time. Come on. One time. 
What does one time mean? He's praying to the poker gods. Every player believes that they get a one-time lucky break. We're hoping this is ours. Seven of clubs? Chips while your car gets towed. Guiding government bills while sniffing crushed pills. Your dream Fuck becomes that. the plan. Peel cards riding your lap of good night. All the glamour losing all Raise. that you have. Six thousand. Compete. Hooray. He says, Extend my credit today. The VIP sweet. Oh, yay. Got the money that gets you to play. We are a victim. Gullible treasures. Another drink you see. So, you actually played the tournament, and you won. I made the final table. That there is the exact amount you asked for. So we done. We're done. But you know, we can make a lot of money together. I'll take the buy-ins, and we'll split the profits 50-50. And if you lose, it's on me. What do you say? No thanks. I'm good. Restaurant doesn't open for another hour. What about deliveries? Nicole, I don't know what to say. I am not still seeing her, I swear it. I know. You know? Yeah, she came in here the other day with some guy. It looked like she was on a date. A date? What a bitch. Hey, don't talk about a woman like that. Besides, you can't talk. What about you and I? Yes, sorry. You're right. Hey. If you knew, why didn't you call me? You had my phone. Yeah, you could have come see me. I'm the girl, you're supposed to come see me. And I knew you would eventually. So, are you gonna tell me why your face is all beat up? Oh, uh, that's, that's a whole other long story. But the short version is, uh, some thug got it in his head that the money that I won at the tournament was his and Made it pretty clear that I should pay up. My God. He, he took your money. Did you go to the police? Who was it? It was that guy. Uncle Nick! You? That's your uncle. Che cazzo? Nicolina, questo è il ragazzo che stavi frequentando? Quello che t'ha tradito? No, zio, no! Non è stato lui! Tu hai preso i suoi soldi? Tu hai detto che avevi finito con questa vita. Maybe I should just go? You stay right there. Stop it, Uncle Nick. What is all this? You promised me after Mama died you were done. Nikki. I also swore to your mama that I would take care of you. Give you everything your heart desired. But you did take care of me. You don't need to steal. We have the restaurant. No. Without this money, we were going to lose it. Everything. Bella, you have your whole life ahead of you. You deserve better than this, delivering pizzas. I'm sorry that I lied to you. But you have to understand. Josh, I think you should go. I'll come see you in a couple of days and I'll bring your money back. Like hell you will.
So, how'd it go? How about, huh? Where's Nicole? I don't know any Nicole, mate. Do you want this or not? Yeah. What's that shirt? Is that like triple XS? It's really a fine man. Legitimate question. What happened to covered? <laughs> what? What happened to be covered yet? Hey, man. Julia Roberts? <laughs> Who's the dude in Richard, Richard Gere, yeah. dude? Who's hotter? Even I know that. Ha! Julia Roberts. Is, is she? Oh, yes. Mm. Cheeky, yeah, that's a big one. Gerbil. Silver Fox. There's so many times you can hear it. Clearly, she's never heard of email. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Josh, I spoke to my uncle and got him to agree to give your money back. But then I remembered something you taught me about playing the odds in poker. You said if the payoff is bigger than the odds of my hand losing, then it's a no-brainer. Well, I looked at all that money and decided to go all in. I'm going to that school in London and Uncle Nick is coming with me. Thank you for this opportunity. I hope you understand. P.S. Enjoy the pizza. Well? Just another bad beat, boys. Fill me in. All right. Do it. Nice and open. Tell me some of my chips. It's so obvious. Your hands so up, obvious. Overcome by the dollar, grab by the collar, taken to the casino. Got a bag full of dreams that a man don't need, burning chips while your car gets towed. Got income and bills while sniffing crushed peels, your dream becomes the plan. Play your cards right and you'll have a good night, all the glamour of losing all that you have. Don't be away, you see six in my credit today. The VIP suite, oh yeah. Drop. 